Welcome to the Paint Bar at Golden Artist Colors. I'm Patty Brady and I'm the director of the Working Artist Program. Today we're going to look at gel mediums so that you know what's available and how they might be useful to you in your studio. We understand the challenges of going into an art supply store and seeing all these choices of gels. So we're going to break them down in very simple terms so that you'll know which ones you want and what might be useful for you in the studio. Most artists are familiar with acrylic paint, especially our heavy body color. Gels are simply acrylic paint without the pigment. Golden makes a lot of different gels with many different properties, but today we're going to focus on only two. We're going to focus on viscosity, which is thick to thin, and also on sheen when the gel dries, which is a range of gloss to matte. We're going to look at four of the main gels in this category. We're going to look at soft, regular, heavy, and extra heavy gel. Soft gel gloss is thinner or lower viscosity than heavy body paint, but also thicker than the fluids. Soft gel has the consistency similar to blended yogurt. Soft gel won't hold stiff peaks, but it will create soft brush strokes. Regular gel is the same consistency as heavy body paint. You can use it as an extender and it won't change the viscosity of your paint. Heavy gel has a slightly confusing name. Heavy does not refer to the weight of the gel, but to the resistance of your palette knife or your brush when you're painting. Heavy gel is thicker or stiffer than regular gel, and when you mix it with acrylic paint, it will give you more texture and allow for thicker applications. Extra heavy gel is the thickest gel that we make. Its consistency is very similar to creamy peanut butter, and it will add the most texture and structure of any of the gels. It's a common misconception that you can take heavy gel and add a lot of water to it to create a soft gel, but the difference is actually a small change in chemistry. You can certainly add water to the gels, but you will reduce the binding capabilities and you'll also increase the possibility of crazing. Now that we've looked at the viscosity of gels, we're gonna take a look at the different sheens. We have three sheens, gloss, semi-gloss, and matte. The way we get the semi-gloss and the matte are by adding matting agents to a gloss gel. Matting agents or solids do a couple of things to the gels that affect their use. The most obvious difference is that a matte gel won't reflect light or give off highlights like the gloss gel. You can also see that a matte gel is not as transparent as a gloss gel. Gloss gels typically retain deeper and richer color and matte gels will soften colors a bit and make them appear lighter. Acrylic gels are incredibly versatile. You can use them for extending colors and making glazes. You can also use them for a great adhesive for collage and used for image transfers. Acrylic gels can be used as a sealer or a primer. They can also be used over your acrylic paint, mixed into your acrylic paint to create texture, and as an isolation coat for varnishing. There are hundreds of ways to use gels, and I hope we've given you a few ideas about how you can take these into your studio and make your own work. We have a great group of artists here at Golden Artist Colors, our product support team. Never hesitate for a moment to give them a call. And thanks for listening. <laughs>